Hello everyone, in this video we're going to walk through using auxiliary coordinates to be able to get lat and long from a state plane design file in Open Roads Designer. So in this example that I'm going to do, I have one of the Ohio County coordinate system projections. So this one happens to be Paulding County, low distortion projection. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use this to be able to get us into a lat and long uh, position. So right now I do have my running coordinates turned on. Um, if you don't uh, have these typically on, you can go ahead and right click in this box down at the bottom and turn on your running coordinates. Um, so I'm going to use those running coordinates just to kind of demonstrate uh, us being able to use an auxiliary coordinate system. So the tool that I'm going to use is called auxiliary coordinate system. Um, so I, it's uh, located in a couple different places. I usually just type in the search bar to find it. So when we open auxiliary coordinates, um, this is going to allow us to be able to place a different coordinate system um, in the background for a view that we are looking at. Um, so in this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select my OHDOT Paulding, but this is going to be in a geographic um, type instead of a projection. Um, so we're normally working in a projection with like state plane coordinates, but we're going to switch it to geographic. Um, and what we're going to use is our auxiliary coordinates and have those running in the background. So if I were to snap to tentative snap to a point here, we can see in my message center that I have low distortion projection coordinates. But if I were to switch those, um, so by doing a left click in my running coordinates, I can switch that to ACS position. Uh, and what that's going to do is allow my running coordinates to use my auxiliary coordinate system so I can get latitude and longitude uh, from my running coordinates. So if I wanted to tentatively snap to one of those points in my message center, I can get latitude and longitude. Um, if I wanted to copy that, I could just open my message center with a left click on there, copy it. Uh, I can open Google Earth and, and be able to, to use those coordinates. Um, so the thing we need to know about the coordinates as well um, is that it's in uh, the what system it's in. So this happens to be WGS84. Um, I'll remove this key point here at the end since I did that tentative snap. Um, but uh, we'll need to know that that's the west and north uh, for the Latin long. Um, and it'll go ahead and zoom in uh, in Google Earth to that latitude and longitude. So it's pretty easy to be able to get a latitude and longitude using our auxiliary coordinates. We never reprojected anything. We never changed any of our coordinate systems. We just used our auxiliary coordinates to be able to define that. 